in the event of any damage to the buildings, it was my obligation to repair the damage or replace whatever is necessary to do it as quickly as possible, like kind, like quality. The buildings came down, my obligation now was to put it back. It dawned upon me very, very swiftly that uh, we couldn't let this go, we couldn't let this sit fallow, because there were families leaving Low Manhattan by the thousands. I mean, they, they couldn't get out of here quickly enough. Uh, Firms, commercial firms, were leaving. The only way to reverse it was to rebuild. The only way to rebuild with private money uh, was, to, was to take the insurance policies that I owned and collect. Instead of roughly six billion, we came out with four and a half billion. People told us, hey, you'll never succeed, you'll never lease it, no one's gonna want the space, you'll never, you'll never rent it, you'll never finance it, don't build it. Everybody told me it's absolutely insane to do what I was doing, right? But I didn't listen to them, and I went ahead, built this building, and the net result is, we leased it, and we financed it for 40 years, and it's an eminently successful building. I think the tower is beautifully designed. I think it will distinguish the New York skyline all over again. The new buildings are towers two, three, and four. When you've got mass transit, which is what business looks for, you've got, got first-class space, which is what business looks for, you've got a first-class neighborhood, which is what business looks for, you've got an unbeatable combination. What we saw was the magnificence of what we're seeing today. And drove toward that, and happily, happily, uh, things seem to be working in the direction we had expected to begin with. On my 84th or 85th birthday, um, in uh, 20, uh, 2015, 2016, when I think this is really gonna be done, I hope that um, people look at what we've accomplished here um, and, and agree that we did a superb job, uh, that we built first-class buildings, iconic buildings, which we will have, uh, that they'll be built to a standard that no one, el no one else has ever achieved before, which will be the case, at the lead of, leading front of technology. And the important thing today, instead of looking back, we're looking forward because of what's happening, and what's happening here is very positive.